The glass text effect. I went to Pexels.com, selected video as the filter type, typed Forest Sunrise into the search box, and started looking for a nice stock video that captures the beauty of this effect. I needed a video in which you can clearly see the sun's rays among the trees and leaves, which is amplified even more by the movement of the camera. Once I found what I wanted, I downloaded it, fired up CapCut, and started a new project. I imported the video and another image just to, to manipulate the background. I dragged the background image to the main layer, and then the video to the layer above it, adjusted the screen to the length of the video with Shift plus Z, and then increased the length of the background image on the main layer to match the length of the video length. I hit the video with the V key, then also the main layer with the blend setting by setting the opacity property to zero. I changed the canvas to color and then I selected a blue color. I'll show you why in a moment. Then, I selected the text menu and put the default text on a new layer, increased its length, then rewrote the text to forest. What the? As I said, I deleted the text and then entered forest, changed the style of the text to the fervent font and increased its size to almost cover the screen. Also I changed it to this yellow color, then exported it and renamed it so that I can find it later. But before I continue, here's why I made the color of the main layer like that. I went back to the main layer and selected another color this time a darker orange, and exported that again as well. You'll understand in a moment, I promise. I deleted the text layer, then imported the two new videos we made earlier. I copied the forest video onto a new layer, moved it by five frames, cut off the end, and then dragged the text with the blue background over it. I adjusted its length, then hid the yellow text using the chroma key. I selected these two new layers and created a compound clip, then chroma key again on it, but now we will make the blue background disappear. But as you can see, if the chroma key is not strong enough, a thin blue stripe may remain on the edges of the text. If I increase the power, it gets better, but it is still visible. If I max it out, it's almost gone, but if there was a blue color in the compound clip, that would also disappear. That's why I needed the other yellow text version. I undo the compound clip, delete the text with a blue background, and replace it with this yellow one. I adjust its length. Then, like before, I use the chroma key to make the yellow text disappear, but be careful not to make it too strong, otherwise the darker yellow background will also disappear, so it's enough if I just set its value to 1 or 2. I make a compound clip from them again, and with the help of the chroma key, I hid the orange background. Just as before, it is enough to choose lower values. You have to play with it a bit, but this way you can make the text frame disappear completely. After this, I change the exposure value on the adjustments tab to make the forest behind the text a little brighter, then duplicate this layer and reduce the exposure value to zero on the new layer. I go to the mask tab and select the horizontal option, turn it to a little more than 180, and then increase the feather value to make the transition smoother. I adjust the exposure value of the previous layer a little so that it is more visible, and here is the final result. As you can see, we are also able to create Premiere Pro level effects with CapCut. If you want to see more of this, like and subscribe.